Okay, another quick video here on uh, pump installation deficiencies. Okay, let's start at the section line. Section line into a uh, Super 2. So this is a Hayward Super Pump 2, a high head application pump uh, made for lots of flow. Uh, things like a lift to your third story solar or a waterfall or a hot tub with 10 jets in it you need to run. That's what that uh, pump is made for. Uh, indicated by the round round chamber on the basket there on the wet end, uh, matched with a smaller than average Sandmaster sand filter. That pump is doubling, if not tripling, the maximum flow rate that this filter is rated for. Uh, that pump is way too powerful for this thing, and this filter is going to wear out early. The laterals and all the internal assemblies, the, just the plastic's not made to handle that kind of uh, volume of water, and it is definitely going to be a problem uh, long term. Reduce the longevity of that product, for sure. Okay, in the filter out of the filter uh, what do we have here okay so we're going through a nature 2 system uh, nature 2 system uses colloidal silver as a bactericide it uh, does it work to clean the water sure is there is it good for you probably not I mean you're you know you absorb silver through your skin and it's a lifelong exposure issue the more you're exposed to in the water the more you're going to absorb into your skin um, I personally don't recommend using those those units for that reason. It's just not something that's needed. Uh, so here we go, spa flex into the heater, uh, street elbow straight out of the heater and into a uh, zodiac salt cell. This is a terrible installation. This so basically there needs to be a check valve here. There there needs to be something to prevent the water from backtracking into the the heater, especially because the salt cell is mounted higher. So when this salt cell is generating chlorine, it's just going to be dumping it straight backwards into this heater. And this heater is going to wear out in a couple of years. It's not going to last as a result of that. So a $20 valve, or the lack thereof, is going to ruin this heater. Um, and especially because the Zodiac system operates at a higher salt level than other comparable systems. 2800 to 3200 parts per million is normal for like a Hayward system. Uh, Zodiac is like 4,000 parts per million, so this is a terrible um, uh, insulation for this heater. It's it's certainly not good for it. I'd like to see uh, street elbows removed. I'd like to see a check valve installed in here. Um, just not just not ideal. And again, the uh, pump is not matched correctly to uh, the filter size. You know, just because it says Super 2 does not mean it's twice as good as a Super pump. You know, the, it, the you should be calculating your flow rates when you match up equipment, and somebody did not do that in this instance.